In the heart of Cambridge, Ontario, is one of the oldest buildings in the province, the old Galt Post Office. Today, the building houses the Fiddler's Green Pub, but the history of the building remains within its walls as a spectral presence. It is a dark history of death by suicide, or possibly even murder. I was uh, alone cleaning up for the night. All the customers were gone, and I started feeling really odd. I started feeling cold. I noticed that it, it was very unusual. I couldn't, I didn't know what it was from. I went to leave the room, and I was stopped. I was, heard a big thud behind me. It sounded like a, a sack of potatoes dropped. I turned around, but I didn't see anything there. Then all of a sudden, I started having a panic attack almost. My whole body was, was, I was out of breath. I couldn't catch my breath. I felt like I was choking. I felt like I was taking on something that was happening to someone else. Feelings didn't belong to me. It's never reoccurred. I've never felt that feeling again. I know it was a result of being in that room. And I've never gotten in that room alone again since that time. The old golf post office in Ontario is a setting for a fairy tale turned sour. This is the tale of two forbidden lovers caught in a web of deceit. Instead of living happily ever after, the lovers in this story face an eternity of sadness. The story you're about to see begs the question, is it possible to love somebody to death? William Turnbull was the postmaster of Galt from 1898 to 1919. He and his wife occupied the tower and third floor of the building. Emily was the post office cleaner. 19 years old, she was young and beautiful. It was only a matter of time before Emily became the object of William's affections. The older man won the young girl's heart. For three years, a romance developed between them, an illicit affair that continued under the very noses of the other staff. More importantly, William's wife, sometimes catching the pair huddled together, was becoming suspicious. A team of paranormal investigators from Haunted Hamilton have come to the Fiddler's Green to try to make contact with its ghostly inhabitants. My name is Jeff. We're at the Fiddler's Green Irish Pub in Cambridge. Today I'm here with Kate, Stephanie, Debbie, and Steve. We are paranormal investigators, and we are standing on the second floor which used to be where Emily and William used to rendezvous. I guess we'll start and see if we can pick up and do a little walk around, see if we can pick up any impressions. There's a lot of fighting going on here. It's not so much the love affair. I don't think that this is where they came to rendezvous so much as to argue. I could see her looking out the window, looking out at the river. These buildings, there weren't so many buildings here. She's watching the trees in the river, wishing that she was somewhere else. There's annoyance and sadness all at the same time. This is probably closer to the end of the relationship than the beginning. It's more her than him. He's just very cold. There's really no emotion attached to him at all. I was DJing at the pub, you know, regular gig, and wrapping up my gear for the night. Everything was done. Coming down the ladder. Right when I hit the bottom, all the disco lights pop back on. And I thought to myself, someone's got to be up there joshing me, you know, I mean, what is this? And I spin around and no one's up there. 
And I turn back around, and there's this really familiar looking girl who's wearing a green dress. And I thought, you know, maybe she must have been one of the waitresses. So I asked her, you know, do you need any help? You know, is there something I could do? And she must have been checking my eyes. She vanished. She reappeared, like I thought, maybe two or three more places. And I booked. I was out of there. I told everybody at the pub, I don't bother calling me. I'm never coming back. Emily and William would often meet late at night on the third floor. But one night, she waited in vain for William to arrive. Emily urgently needed to speak to him. The next day, she confronted him and revealed that she was pregnant. He told Emily she must leave town. Horrified by his coldness, she slapped him. William became very angry and struck her forcefully several times, knocking her down, before turning his back on her forever. Two days later, Emily was found hanged in William's third floor bedroom. His wife found the body. Was this suicide? Or did William end his problems in a brutal and expedient fashion? Or did the jealous wife take her own revenge? One thing is certain, the broken-hearted Emily still haunts the Fiddler's Green today. <laughs>